Do you ever wonder if NHL legends could keep up with the best players in the world currently today? Well, the good news is we're going to be finding that out as I've created a team full of NHL legends, the best of the best, all on the same exact team, and they're going to be going up against the team full of the best players in the world today currently, and they are going to be competing in a seven-game series for the Stanley Cup to see which is the best era of hockey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the teams. So starting off, these are the NHL legends on the Omaha Boomers. Very creative name, I know. They're going to have guys like Luke Robitaille, Wayne Gretzky, and Yarmir Yager. Maurice Richard is there. Lemieux, Joe Sackick, Mark Messier, Bulavo, Gordie Howe, Timu Salani, Peter Forsberg, and Stevie Y. Everybody here is a 92 or better. Now, defensively, they're going to have guys like Nick Lidstrom, Bobby Orr, Ray Borg, Paul Coffey, Larry Robinson, and Chris Pronger. And in goal, their goalies are also stacked with Patrick Waugh at a 96 and Jock Plant at a 94. They also have guys who are scratched, like Martin Brodeur isn't even playing. He's a 94. For the rest of the scratch players, we have Marcel Dion, Dennis Potvin. Could have added even more NHL legends, but I decided to stick with the best of the best. So these are the Omaha Boomers, the NHL legends from the past. Now it's time to meet the team of today's NHL superstars. So here they are, the Alberta Young Guns. Most of these guys are not even young. Some of them are like mid to late 30s as well. But I mean, relatively speaking, they are young compared to NHL legends. So on the first line, we have Breadman, McDavid, and David Pasternak, a very stacked first line. Kucherov, Jack Hughes, and Kirill Kaprizov. On the third line, we have Matthew Kachuk, Leon Dreisaitl, and the greatest player of all time, and Nathan McKinnon. On the fourth line, we have Rantanen, Sid the Kid Crosby, and Jason Robertson. We should be able to keep up. Now defensively, we have guys like Roman Yossi, Kale McCarr, Adam Fox, Victor Hedman, Quinn Hughes, and Charlie McAvoy. All very good defensemen who should simulate pretty well and in the real game, they should be able to shine out there, especially Kale McCarr sitting at a 95 overall. And for goalies, our two goalies are going to be Andre Vasilevsky at a 93 and Igor Shosturkin 92. So the NHL legends do have us beat there with a, I believe, a 96 Patrick Waugh and 94 backup. But hopefully the skating core can carry them to victory as we are going to be playing a seven game series up against the NHL legends for the Stanley Cup. So without further ado, let's head right into the Stanley Cup finals if you guys do enjoy videos like this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more all right, so here we are, game number one of the Stanley Cup finals between the Alberta Young Guns and the Omaha Boomers. The best NHL players in the world today versus the best players in the past NHL, NHL legends, really. I mean, this is a star-studded game, boys. It's going to be a great seven-game series coming in. Great shot there. Gretzky gets the rebound back to Bobby Orr. Over, and the first goal is going to go to the Omaha Boomers as Nick Lidstrom is going to put it home for the Omaha Boomers off a great one-timer feed from the great Bobby Orr. And the NHL legends are up 1-0 early in game number one. Vassy, man, you gotta have that one. Only three minutes into the very first period, and the Boomers are on the board. There's a four check. Oh my god, Gretzky was almost gone on the breakaway. Also, I am gonna be in coach mode for the home team in every single game just to make it even. Here we go, the Young Guns coming through. Can't get any offense whatsoever. It looks like the Boomers are controlling this game very early on. They're still yet to make a change also. The best players, or the first line players, are still on the ice. Here comes Pasternak coming down the wing, trying to feed McDavid. Can't get a shot off. Breadman still can't get a shot off. Great D by the Boomers there. Kreisov coming down, and they are gonna go offside. A very rough start for the Young Guns. Basically zero offense so far in the game they are trailing one to nothing thanks to a nick lidstrom bomb from like ovi's office pretty much about halfway through and oh my god the first power play is gonna go to the nhl legends as kirill kaprizov or actually nikita kucherov is gonna take a tripping penalty a not a very good one on the penalty kill uh oh that's a horrible turnover are they gonna get it out though dry settle turnover mark messier coming in vassy is gonna cover that up he says no the nhl legends have basically been all over the young guns blast from the point misses the net though Crosby, here comes crosby one of the older guys on the young guns ranting it in the middle over sid Good save by Patrick Waugh there. I don't know what Miko Ranton was doing. Why did he just slip on a banana peel? Can we get a replay on that? Crosby going to break it out yet again. Can the Young Guns get any offense here? Here we go. Ranton and shoots. That was a flimsy little shot, but it probably could have went in. Delani coming down. It's bodied the blue line. Oh my God. What a save by Vassy. I believe he saved that. 
35 seconds to go in period number one. Kucherov coming down. Can he get any offense over Roman Yossi? Why is he not shooting over? Great save by Patrick Waugh on Kirill Kaprizov. Four seconds to go. Actually, five in period number one. Can they get any offense? A dominant period by the Omaha Boomers, the NHL legends. They are going to come out with a 1-0 lead after period number one. All right, here we are. Period number two of game number one. Down 1-0 is the Young Guns. They're definitely going to have to get some offense here. McDavid behind the net in the middle. Pasta back to McCarr. Shot on net. There was a rebound, but nobody could get it. Breadman. A good period by the uh, Omaha Boomers and a very bad one by the Young Guns. They basically got zero offense as Bobby Orr just dumps the puck in. Also, boys, rate the jerseys in the comments below 1 to 10. I went with a newer age theme for the uh, current day NHL players. That's why I have like Miami Vice colors. And for the past, I just went with a black, gray, and white because that's pretty much what the past kind of reminds me of. Lemieux coming in, trying to toe drag release, thinking he is Connor Bedard, but he is not. The Young Guns cannot get anything going. Feed him in the middle, Hedman. Hedman, okay, what are you doing, Victor Hedman? Just going to come in. And again, just bad passes over and over again. Lemieux coming down the wing. Deeks in the middle, shot on net, and Andre Vasilevsky is going to play that. Gordy Howe, can he make something happen? Ray Bork, shot on net. Vasi is going to make the save, though. Nice face-off draw win. Back to McAvoy. Breadman, shot on net. That was probably the best shot so far in the game. Patrick Waugh, though, it's going to be hard to beat him, man. 96 overall. That is not going to be easy whatsoever. Yager gets laid out by Charlie McAvoy. Counterattack here. Pasternak gets absolutely destroyed. I think by Larry Robinson at the blue line. That was crazy. Oh, McDavid, you're gone. McDavid wheels. McDavid could have a breakaway coming in. Connor McDavid gets robbed by Patrick Waugh. How did that happen? Breadman gets a good shot off. But again, nobody has beaten Patrick Waugh yet. We are almost done in the second period, and I totally forgot to turn on the game sale. My bad, boys. Robertson, though. Come on, dude. How can not shoot that 20 seconds to go quinn hughes blocks at the point by number 18 with solani as it looks like it's going to be a one nothing lead heading into the third for the omaha boomers just like it was heading into the second and here we are third period of game number one still a one nothing game the goal came very early i believe there was like 17 minutes left on the clock in period number one and we have been scoreless since then as the Alberta Young Guns are headed to the power play, Yarmir Yager taking a charging penalty. What did he do here? Charging? I, I don't know if that's charging, man. I've been getting called with that every single time in my Be a Pro, and it's not even charging. The defense of the NHL legends have been insane this game. They have shut down completely every single player on the Young Guns team. Doesn't get a shot off. The computers love to not shoot the puck in the slot. 2-on-1 here for the Legends. Great save by Andre Vasilevsky. He's going to play that, though. Very risky by Vasi. It is going to work out. Here comes Mac Daddy. McKinnon coming in. Feeds the middle. Great save by Patrick Waugh. Back to the point. Back to Kutra. Back to Dreisaitl. And Patrick Waugh is going to make that save. He was square with the puck. You're not going to beat him like that. He's going to shoot it on net. Rebound is there. Messier picks it up. How in the middle. Great save by Andre Vasilevsky. Absolutely robbing number 13 in the slot. Here come the Young Guns in the middle. Breadman over McDavid. Good shot on net, but Patrick Waugh is going to make the save. In the middle again. Pasta again cannot beat Patrick Waugh as we have 11 seconds to go in game number one. The most important draw of the entire game here, and we got Jack Hughes taking it. That's not a good recipe. He's going to win it, though. Back to Hedman. Eight seconds to go. They got to get a shot. They're not going to do it. Pasternak and Patrick Waugh shuts the door as the NHL legends take game number one, one to nothing, and go up 1-0 in the series of the Stanley Cup Finals. And here we go with game number two in the Stanley Cup Finals between the Omaha Boomers and the Alberta Young Guns. The legends stole that one to nothing. Nick Lidstrom got the game-winning goal very early on in the game. Hopefully we can get a lot more offense here because game number one was strictly defense. Not very entertaining, especially with the computer's AI. Agar gets tripped at the blue line and the Boomers are headed to the power play very early on in the game. 17 minutes left in the first period. Yager steals it at the blue line. Gretzky coming in. Wayne Glensky going to feed the middle. Great save by Vassy again on Maurice Richard. Gretzky in the middle again. Finds the point. Lemieux. Yager. Great save. I don't even know if that was a save. That might have just went wide. Kucherov coming in over to Adam Fox. Misses the net. A horrible shot. I might have to adjust the sliders here, boys. Maybe make the goalies worse or something so we can get some goals going in the game. Great save by Vassy. Crosby, huge face-off draw win 
Another great save by Patrick Waugh, though. Gonna be hard to beat Patrick Waugh, man. 96 overall. That's gonna be tough. It'll be one last rush for the young guns. Miko Ranton coming in, deking twice. Over Crosby. Great save by Patrick Waugh yet again as this shutout streak is going to continue for four straight periods. All right, so here we are, period number two of game number two. I also mess with the sliders in the intermission, just making the shooting of the computers a little better. I also put down the difficulty to pro, and oh my god, Vassy is going to rob Wayne Glensky in the slot there. Kale McCarr coming in, going wide, finding the middle, gets picked off by Lidstrom, though. Back to McDavid, Pasternak shooting. Doesn't get it off the ice, though. An NHL-caliber player. Can only shoot on the ice, it seems like. Yager in the slot. There's a rebound there. Good D by Kale McCarr. Counterattack by the Young Guns. Kucherov gets laid out by Nick Lidstrom at the blue line. Absolutely destroyed. Gretzky still out there on the ice. Robotite cutting in the middle. Oh my god, Gretzky had a wide open net in the slot there. Yager steals it over. Gretzky again. Back to Coffee. Back to Gretzky. Oh my god, the passing. And they're going to put it home as Paul Coffee is going to get a squeaker to go on Andre Vasilevsky after a crazy passing play by Gretzky, Yager, and Coffee. Two backdoor passes are actually drop passes i should say as gretzky gets third eye back to paul coffee and a squeaker is gonna go by andre vasilevsky still yet to get on the board is the young guns as patrick Waugh has shut the door completely maurice richard coming in and maurice richard is gonna snipe it home for a two nothing lead here in the second period and what a snipe that was there it is boys we got the goals they're flowing now as the nhl legends are basically dominating and they are headed to the power play as nathan mckinnon has taken a penalty pass to coming in come on do something pass to over mcavoy why well, back to yossi and roman yossi is gonna snipe it home finally beating patrick waugh for the very first time in the series I was literally about to lose my mind on Charlie McAvoy. I was wondering what he was doing. He could have walked in and either passed the back door or shot it on net. Instead, he's going to find the high guy, and Roman Yossi is not going to make any mistake about it. Right there in the slot, snipes it. High blocker side on Patty Wah. And we now have a 2-1 hockey game, boys. Finally, the young guns get by Patrick Wah. McDavid coming in over Kale McCarr. Good save by Patrick Waugh yet again. And here we go. Third period of game number two. A one goal lead for the NHL Legends. Two to one. As the Young Guns finally get one by Patrick Waugh in that second period. Either we are headed back home to the NHL Legends Arena with a 2-0 lead. Or tied 1-1 Bobby Orr. Good save by Vassy. Oh my god. Why would Vassy play that? Come on. You guys got two on him. Can you not steal the puck from him? Oh my god. Over to Yossi, the only goal scorer so far in the series for the Young Guns. Asternak has been playing terrible. Robotai coming in. Luke Robotai. What is he going to do? Going to shoot it. Rebound. And Mark Messier is going to put it home for the two goal lead in the third period off a point shot, I believe, by. I don't even know who that was. Mark Messier, unassisted. It was a blast from the point by Maurice Richard, and the rebound was there. Mark Messier was there for cleanup. Sloppy Joe's on a Tuesday, boys. Young Guns are going to have to do something drastic here to get back in the game and get back in the series as they are about to be down 2-0 to the NHL Legends. Not what you wanted to see after the first two games. And Maurice Richard is going to snipe it home on Andre Vasilevsky for a 4-1 lead here in game number two as Andre Vasilevsky has not been making the saves whatsoever they need him to make. Yeah, Vassy's got to have that, man. He's past the hash marks. No screen in front of the net. And Maurice Richard is just going to snipe that glove side on Vassy. Big face-off draw. One. Vassy's down, and they are going to put it home as Yarmir Yager is going to score that one. It is now 5-1 to one for the NHL Legends. Right off the draw there on the power play. They won it. Back to Lidstrom. What is Vassy doing? Why is he flopping around on the ice? Full pressure, but still, that's the first shot he faced. Off the noggin and in for Yaramir Yager. Gets his first of the series. McDavid coming down the wing. Can he get any offense? Breadman blasted. Another rebound was there, and nobody's going to be there for it. As they are two wins away from winning the Stanley Cup and proving they are the best era of hockey in the history of the NHL.
And here we are, game number three of the Stanley Cup Finals. The Omaha Boomers are leading 2-0 in the series, basically dominating so far. The Young Guns here at home are definitely going to need to bounce back, and they're going to have to beat Patrick Waugh. They have struggled mightily trying to beat him. They've only gotten one puck past them so far. Gretzky over to Yager, and it's going to trickle in right off rip. The Boomers, the NHL legends, are going to go up 1-0 very early in this game off a shot that really Andre Vasilevsky should have had. I mean, you cannot get beat like that, man. Bounced off his stick and went in. Gretzky made the nice pass. How does this go in here? Yeah, Andre Vasilevsky needs to have that shot. There's no excuse for that. Maybe the Young Guns have to start Igor Shosturkin for game number two. McDavid walking out. McDavid gets robbed by Patrick Waugh in the slot. Man, that flimsy little backhander is not going to work. Gretzky coming in. Gretzky wide. Oh, my God. What a pass by the great one. Over to Yarmir Yager and the Omaha Boomers, the NHL legends, are going to go up 2-0 very early here in the first period. Yager has both of those goals. Watch this pass by Gretzky. Behind the back, bang. And Andre Vasilevsky, man, he might need to get pulled in this hockey game. What a pass by Gretzky. The, the fact the computers even made that pass. Bob Yor coming in. Bob Yor. Oh, my God. Vasi is very shaky right now. Roman Yossi speeding down the wing and gets a run over by number 10 and defensively i think the defense on the legends their overalls at least they're a lot higher they got a 97 overall bob your maurice richard rebound good save by vassy finally the young guns just walk into a poke check from the defenders so easily they don't do nothing when they get in the offensive zone watch this matthew kachuk he's gonna get poked off him oh feed the middle adam fox adam fox is gonna bury it and the young guns are on the board finally i mean it took them long enough to get on the board nice pass there by matthew kachuk over to adam fox i honestly thought he was gonna lose it i thought he was just gonna get poke checked but adam fox rips it low glove on patrick wah finally solving the puzzle that's only their second goal of the series so here we are in period number two a 2-1 lead for the nhl legends over the young guns lidstrom coming in what is he gonna do feed the middle yager going for the hat trick yager already has two goals in the game i don't even know what happened there back to the point oh mcdavid is gone connor mcdavid on the breakaway can he put it home mcdavid oh my god just gets bodied by nicholas lidstrom and he can out oh Capri Kaprizov on the breakaway Kirill Kaprizov is gonna bury it and tie the game up at two apiece as the young guns get a major break there Kaprizov gets the steal he got the breakaway and he made no mistake about it nice little pick there at the blue line Lemieux want that one back he definitely does and snipe it on Patrick Wow, we got a tie game here boys shooting it on net they got all the momentum right now on home ice as well Hughes Back to Yossi, back to Hughes. He's going to turn it over, though. Kucherov coming in. Oh, Kuch over Kaprizov. Great save by Patrick Waugh. The young guns are all over them. And Nikita Kucherov is going to snipe it home on Patrick Waugh to take the lead. As that is three straight goals for the young guns. Kucherov was in Ovi's office, got the pass from Pasternak, and sniped it home. Glove side on Patty Waugh. A one-timer. Silver 1T X Factor. Seven minutes to go. Matthew Kachuk dancing in the offensive zone. Oh, McKinnon over. Hedman. Man, if that shot had it got on the net. You never know. Adam Fox walking in. Gets uh, blocked by Nathan McKinnon, his own teammate. Adam Fox back to Hedman. Victor Hedman over to Breadman. Over to McDavid. What are we doing? Somebody got to shoot the puck. Gets blocked by Ray Bork in the slot. 30 seconds. Actually, 20 seconds to go. Ray Bork coming down. Robitaille. Doesn't get a shot off, does there, and Vassy's going to make the save, and I think that might do it. I mean, we have six seconds here. You never know what could happen. There still is time for the NHL legends to get a goal here. They got to win the draw. They are going to lose it, and that is going to do it for period number two. As the Young Guns scored three straight to come back from a two-goal deficit, and now they lead here in the third period. Can they shut the door? Back to the point, Lidstrom moving over. Bobby Orr, Bobby Orr. Great save, another great save by Vassi, who has actually played very well after that shaky start he had, letting basically the first two goals of the game, I'm pretty sure. McDavid coming in over Breadman. Pasternak couldn't get a shot off. Man, when we're in the slot like that, somebody has to shoot it. Breadman, my nice deke at the blue line, and Connor McDavid is going to rip it home for a 4-2 lead here in the third period. That was all set up by Artemi Panarin with a nice stride deke at the blue line to get around his defender. 
Nice move there. Gives it over to McDavid, and he absolutely rips it. What a move by Breadman. I definitely did not expect that. He feeds it over to Connor. Connor just snipes it. Top shelf, top glove on Patrick Waugh. Kucherov finds Jack Hughes on the 2 one Kaprizov backhander and puts it home for a 5-2 lead here in the third period as the Young Guns are absolutely dominating. Nice pass, Jack Hughes. And Kaprizov goes forehand back in and gets shoved in the net by Bobby Orr. I guess that was his uh, frustration. I did not expect the NHL legends to choke like that. They had a 2-0 lead. They're mad now. The legends are trying to get some offense late in the third period. Only nine minutes to go. Good save by Vassy. Pretty easy save as well. Edmund going to give it over. McAvoy blasted. Patrick Waugh is going to make the save, though. In the middle, Kaprizov over to McAvoy again. Over to McKinnon. Well, can Mac Daddy do? McKinnon. Kaprizov, great save by Waugh. 20 seconds to go in a dominating Game 3 victory by the Young Guns. They desperately needed this game. They did not want to fall down 3-0 in the series and basically give up the Stanley Cup as the NHL Young Guns get their very first win of the series. All right, here we are. Game number four. The Legends are leading the series 2-1 after the Young Guns had a bounce back game in game number three. They won it 5-2, I believe, an absolute domination. The Legends take a 3-1 series lead or it's all tied up heading back home. McDavid over Brad May. McDavid gets robbed by Patrick Waugh. Ugrobatai coming in he's gonna shoot gets it blocked by the defender rebound Vassy would make the save though in the middle again denied by Vassy, who had a shaky start in game number three but here in game four that is not the case Kaprizov coming down moving over Kucherov over Jack Hughes oh my god what a passing play by the NHL young guns as Kaprizov is going to score the very first goal of the game. What a great passing play by Jack Hughes, Nikita Kucherov, and Kirill Kaprizov. And Patrick Waugh basically had no shot at that goal. Tape to tape. A tic-tac-toe goal over. What a pass by Jack Hughes. He made the extra pass. And here we go. Second period of game number four. The Young Guns have a 1-0 lead. After that amazing start to the game, it kind of slowed down, honestly, in the later half. Luke Robitaille coming down. What is he going to do? Gets it turned over. He still got it, though. Still got it. In the middle, Gretzky was trying to put it home, and Yarmir Yager comes out of nowhere to tie the game up at one apiece. I didn't even see him until it was in the back of the net. In the last two games, it went over to Gretzky here. He tried shooting it, didn't really get it. Bounced out to Yager, and he made no mistake about it, putting it home. Redman in the slot. Connor McDavid, he has it down low, and oh my god, what a cross crease goal to David Pasternak to tie, actually to take the lead here in the second period. What a pass by Connor McDavid. I desperately, or I definitely didn't see that coming. The young guns are buzzing on the power play right now. It is over, though, so they get the man back. Breadman in the middle. Oh, Jack Hughes. Actually, that was Quinn Hughes, my bad. He's going to get rid of defender. Shooting. Vassy is going to make the save, though. A very good save by Andre Vasilevsky. Here comes Nathan McKinnon. McKinnon over. Dry settled. Back to Jack Hughes. Over to Dry settled. What a save. Coming down. What's he going to do? He's going to blast a slap shot, but it's not going to get by Andre Vasilevsky. Big faceoff win there. Larry Robinson over to Chris Pronger. He's going to shoot it at the point, and he's going to tie it up. Off a point shot from Chris Pronger. Going to rip it home on Vassy. I believe that went blocker side. No, glove side. Low glove side. He shoots it. No screen. And it's just going to cleanly beat Vasilevsky. I don't even know how that went in. How does Vassy not have that, dude? And here we go. Probably the biggest third period so far of the series. And the Legends lead in the series 2-1. to one, Looking to go up 3-1. Drawing the penalty is going to be the Legends as they are headed back to the power play. David Pasternak, another tripping penalty. What is that, like four so far in the series? Tie game here in the third period. Somebody needs to score. Please do not give me overtime. I do not want overtime. Pasternak gets robbed by Patrick Waugh. Nice steal there by Cooch. Over to Kaprizov. Over. What a save. On Connor. That was not Connor McDavid. That was Jack Hughes. My bad. Kaprizov. Full pressure now. Hedman shoots, and Victor Hedman is going to snipe it from the top of the circles as the NHL Young Guns are going to take the lead here late in the third period, looking to tie up the series at two apiece. Great save by Vasilevsky. Only 15 to go here. Oh, Pasternak, what are you doing? Why'd you not go to the puck? In the middle of Paul Coffey. Oh my God, they're going to score, aren't they? 
Seven seconds to go. Can the Young Guns hold on? Victor Hedman. And they are going to do it as we are headed to a best of three series as it is all tied up at two apiece. The home team winning both games so far in the series. And here we are in a pivotal game number five between the Young Guns and the Boomers, of course. All tied up at two apiece in the Stanley Cup Finals. This game is absolutely huge. I believe whoever wins this game is going to go on and win the Stanley Cup. That was insanely weird. Oh my God. Oh my God. Connor McDavid put Nick Lindstrom through the glass. Yeah, okay, McCarr gonna skate it out over to Bradman again. He's mad after missing that. McCarr gets robbed by Patrick Waugh and he's gonna cover that up. Great save. He's gonna play it. Oh my God. What a diving save by Patrick Waugh. Off a mistake. He does it again though. Patrick Waugh is so goddamn ballsy. He plays it not once, but twice after making a desperation save. Only five seconds to go in the third period. Kaprizov coming down. Jack Hughes doesn't get a shot off, and we are headed to the first intermission. All right, here we go in the second period. No score so far. A very tight checking game. Not a lot of offense, honestly. Shows him who's the real goat of the NHL. In the middle, Yager comes down and snipes it. Yarmir Yager for his fourth goal of the series so far as he has been dominating i can't even lie yermir yager on the line with wayne gretzky absolutely lethal and he scores the first of the game clean face off one and back to the point and ray bork is gonna snipe it home for the two goal lead here in the second period Right off the draw, Lemieux just won it back, and he didn't miss, man. That was a clean shot. Vassy probably should have had it, honestly. Messier coming in over to Robitaille, back to Bobby Orr, back to... Oh, my God. They're just ringing the puck around. The Young Guns desperately need to tie up the game. McDavid rips a clap bomb from the corner, but that is not going to work. You're not beating Patrick Wall like that. Joe Sackett coming in. Toe drag release. Vassy is going to make the save, though. Oh, man. The computers the computers need to do something exciting here. Makar coming in. Kale Makar is going to rip it home. There it is. And they are back to within one off a end-to-end -end rush, just like Bobby Orr used to do back in the day. But instead, it's Kale Makar as he's just going to skate it down and rip it home on Patrick Waugh. Nice shot, Makar. Gretzky up to Robitaille all alone. One on four pretty much. Still, again, does not get a shot off. Back to Adam Fox. Adam Fox over to Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes. And it's going to go in? How did that even go in? Jack Hughes is going to tie the game up for the Young Guns. We are going to take a better look at it here. Jack Hughes gets it. Basically, top of the circles. Walks in. Pasternak gets out of the way. Pad save by Patrick Waugh. And what happens here? No, he he, got, he put it in his own net. Patrick Waugh kicked it in his own net. Back to Lidstrom. Lidstrom blasts it. The rebound out front. SA couldn't get a shot on net. Gordy Howe, though, great four check by the Mr. Hockey. And here we go in the biggest third period so far in the series. All knotted up at two apiece. Take a lead in the game and maybe, oh, McDavid dancing. Oh, my God. That would have been a beautiful pass to Artemi Panarin, too. Because right now, it is very sloppy hockey. Here comes Lemieux breaking in. Lemieux shooting. There's a rebound. There. Gretzky over to Yarmir Yager in overtime as they get the overtime winner did i say we were in the third period i have to be losing my mind right now as we went to overtime in game number five as the legends take a 3-2 series lead and are now one win away from the stanley cup and here we go game number six stanley cup in the building as the legends hold a 3-2 series lead after an overtime winner from Yaramir Yager, who might actually get the playoff MVP. Great shot and great save by Vass. Yager still has it, though. Feeds it back to the point. Bobby Orr over Lidstrom. Over to Lemieux. Back to Sackick. Lidstrom. Lemieux. They are just passing it around like the Harlem Globetrotters. Kaprizov. Great pass. Queen Hughes. Toe drags it and doesn't even elect to shoot it. Dry settle coming down. Dry settle. Gonna rip a slap shot. A weird shot selection there. Dry settle trying to win the draw here. Does. Back to Makar. Over. Yossi. Roman Yossi. Dry settle shoots. Great save by Patrick Waugh. Still on the power play for a minute and 20 here. Makar in the middle. McKinnon rebound. And Leon Dry settle is gonna score the very first goal of the game. As the home team yet again comes out absolutely buzzing. And here we go in the second period. The Young Guns hold a 1-0 lead. Scoring the lone goal in that first period. Gretzky over to Bork. Bork shot on net on the ice though. And that'll be an easy save for Vasilevsky. Go! Oh my god, Artemi Panarin was gone. He's the first to the puck here though. Gets body in the corner. Adam Fox over. Quinn. 
As we only got a minute left in the second, finding the middle! It's blocked in front, Crosby trying to rip one home, Rantanen. I believe our third line is out on the ice. 30 seconds to go. One last rush. Joe Saki coming down. Easy save for Vassi. And that is going to do it on the second period as we head into the third with a 1-0 lead. And here we go in the second period of game number six. Again, the Young Guns are on the brink of elimination, but they do hold a 1-0 lead. David streaking down the middle. Stride deek. Nice shot, but a nice save by Patrick Waugh. David tried to tip that in the middle. What a save by Patrick Waugh. I have no idea how he reacted to that absolute bomb by David Pasternak. Oh, Bobby Orr coming in. Gretzky, and there it is. They are going to tie it up. Luke Robitaille, and he's going to make no mistake about it, putting it home and tying the game up here in the third period. Jack Hughes coming down the wing. What is he going to do? He's going to feed the middle, isn't he? Back, and Patrick Waugh is going to make the save yet again. Counterattack by McKinnon coming down. What is he going to do? He's going to probably try to find the middle, and there it is. Matthew Kachuk to Nathan McKinnon in front of the net and the Young Guns take the lead here late in the third period. What a feed from basically Gretzky's office behind the net as Matthew Kachuk found a streaking Nathan McKinnon and he's just going to tap that in into probably the easiest goal he'll ever score in his life. Can the legends come back and maybe even force overtime or are we headed to a game number seven? What a bomb by Breadman. That missed the net though. That was not even close to going in. Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, I mean Quinn Hughes again. Gets it blocked. 25 seconds to go. Seven seconds to go. And it looks like we are going to see a game seven between the Young Guns and, of course, the NHL Legends. The series is not over yet, boys. We got one more game. Winner takes all. And here we go. Game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Young Guns and the Boomers. Now, Stanley Cup in the building. The Legends are on home ice while the Young Guns are on the road. Who is going to take home the Stanley Cup, proving why they are the best era in hockey history? I cannot believe the Young Guns pulled it off last game in the dying minutes. Oh my god, Vasilevsky, what are you doing, bro? That is a terrible shot by Luke Robitaille, and he's just going to snipe it home. But I mean, there is tons of time left here in the game. And there it is. Breadman right away is going to tie the game up at one apiece. Two quick goals to start the game. Less than two minutes in the game as well. The first shot, I believe, on both sides. But the NHL legends are going to make the breakout. And here they come, Bobby Orr. Over. Robitaille. Lindstrom can't get a shot off. Nice D by the Young Guns. Lindstrom again. Still got it in the middle. Robitaille back to Bobby Orr. Lemieux trying to spin and fire one there. Robitaille over back door. And Maurice Richard is going to put it home off a great four check from I don't even. I think that was Mario Lemieux that bodied that guy. Basically one minute to go. Here comes Charlie McAvoy coming down the wing. Lots of ice. McKinnon gets robbed by Patrick Waugh in the slot. All right, here we go. With one period down, two more to go. The NHL legends hold a 2-1 lead in the game after goals were being traded early on in the period. Oh my God, who was that that just got run over at the blue line by Kale McCarr? Bruh. What on earth was Leon Dreisaitl doing there? For a slap shot that didn't even work. And there, Maurice Richard is going to put it home for the two-goal lead here in the second period. I would really love to know what Leon Dreisaitl was thinking here. Stride Deke. I'm going to blast it home. Oh, whoops. Swing and a miss. Like a 95 overall player should not be doing this in the real-time game. Just straight up losing it. <laughs> As we have a 3-1 lead for the NHL Legends here pretty late in the second period, honestly. And that is going to do it. We are headed to the third period with a two-goal lead for the NHL Legends. So close, 20 minutes away from the Stanley Cup. The NHL Legends do lead by two, trying to hold on to that lead. Meanwhile, the Young Guns, they got to get some offense going. Robitaille walking in, Robitaille deking. That would have been a nice move if he had got around the defender, but he didn't. Jack Hughes trying to make something happen in the middle. Hedman, shoot that. Victor Hedman is going to put it home. And the Young Guns are back to within one here in the third period. Off an amazing pass from Jack Hughes in the corner. Just snipes it blocker side on Patrick Watt. Tape to tape. His eyes were closed and he still made that pass. So 
that's all there needs to be said about that. I think in the future, when I do stuff like this with two teams and Stanley Cup Final Series, I might go five games. I think seven might be a little much to sit here and watch the computer go back and forth. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments how entertaining this video has been. If it has been boring, if it's been actually very entertaining. McDavid will walk it. Why would Connor McDavid pass that? Like, why would he do that? As there it is, the Stanley Cup is in the building, about to be raised as the Legends lead three to two with 50 three seconds to go not a lot of time to work with whatsoever got to get the offense they got to pull their goalie too they didn't even get a chance to do that the legends are ragging it in their own zone 14 seconds to go trying to get a shot off can't do it six seconds and they're gonna draw a penalty and that might do it on the game 2.2 seconds to go and david pasternak is gonna take a goddamn tripping penalty i swear to god he's taken like six or seven of these in the entire series can somebody please let me know in the comments how many tripping penalties david pasternak has taken the series and it looks like that is gonna do it as the nhl legends are gonna beat the current current day best players in the world and go on and prove why they are the best era in hockey beating them in a seven game series in game seven and they are going to get rewarded with the stanley cup here on home ice in omaha omaha boomers and their fans are very excited for the con Smythe. it is going to go to yaramir yager who else would it go to i mean six goals and eight points in seven games by far the most impactful player and there it is the stanley cup waiting to be raised if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. As here comes the great one coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the NHL legends as they have proven that they are the best era in hockey history. I would like to say thank you all for watching and until next time, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.